You're now tuned in to Hot Topics with Lady Charmaine, and we got a hot show tonight, y'all. Our all-male panel is back, and it's going to be real juicy because they're going to be weighing in on what the ladies were talking about on yesterday. So if you missed Hot Topics with Lady Charmaine, the all-female panel, all you have to do is go to LadyCharmaineLive.com and go back and watch the replay because it's going to be real juicy tonight. We got some opinionated brothers in the building, and we want you guys to join in on the conversation. All you have to do is call in at 916 226 9226 and weigh in on the conversation. Ladies, gents, kids, make sure y'all share this video tonight because somebody's about to be blessed. Somebody's going, what we call it, what they call it, woke. Somebody's getting ready to wake up. So, what we want you to do is right now share this video. And we got the men coming up right after this. back with Hot Tops with Lady Charmaine and I want to I can't wait to get into it y'all because we was having some discussions in here before the show started with some of these topics and y'all just don't want to miss it but so without any further ado let me introduce to y'all the fellas all right um, okay, we got my husband right. Joseph Bass say hey babe hey 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 and then we got Mr. Kwame. He goes by the name of Mr. Cocky Clothing. Oh, Welcome to, <laughs> to Hot Topics with Lady right. Charmaine. Right, right, right. And then we got Mr. Kenny Taylor. Yes, ma'am. I mean the social light of Sacramento. <laughs> social light. All right now. <laughs> and then we got none other than the hair hustling the West building. Side. He be slaying Hustle. all them heads in Sacramento. He just <laughs> okay. right. like David and Goliath just <laughs> slaying. <laughs> How you Thank you, lady. How you are so welcome. How y'all doing this evening? We doing, doing good. good. Doing great. Yeah. How you doing? doing great. Well, you know what? I am doing good. And I'm just glad to have y'all in the building on this evening because, you know, we, we got some good stuff to talk about. And I just want y'all just to, I want them to be open. I want them to be honest. And ladies, I want y'all to listen with your ears open. And y'all just call in 916-226-9226. So what are we getting ready to do? We about to get this show on the road. So fellas, y'all ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Okay, now I've had I had a couple of questions, right? And, and I don't even know which one to start off with. But this one I am gonna start off with because we were talking about this. Now, last night, a gentleman by the name of Sal Garcia from the Bay Area. Hey, what's up, Sal? Sal had called in last night and he was just kicking all the game. And one of the questions was: could men and women be platonic friends? Hmm. Do you believe that men and women <clears throat> can be platonic friends? And Yes or no? I want to hear from you. Starting with Derek. I I actually <laughs> had a platonic friend. Um, shout out to Tavia Jenkins for like, shoot, almost like about 17, 18 years. And that's, I love her like a sister. So, and, you know, I think that you can, a man can have a platonic friend and uh, not be intimate with them if it is real and it's, it's a real raw friendship. <clears throat> Like when you come in with motives and intentions to have a, you know sex with the woman or the woman to have sex with the man, then eventually when the the other party gets somebody in their lives, you're going to always feel it because the other party, man or woman, is going to get jealous. Anytime another person comes around, you're going to mm -hmm. feel it, period. Mm -hmm. So right. that's how you can always yep. tell, you know. So. How you live with Hot Topics with Lady Charmaine? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Chantel calling from the Bay Area. Hi, Chantel. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. What's your comment? I don't have one. Oh, okay. You just, I'm you... just logging on. Oh, okay. Well, 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 thanks, well, well, thanks for well, logging thank on. Thank you for logging <laughs> on. <laughs> There's a question that's on the table. Yeah, keep listening. <laughs> and when you're ready to chime in, call us back. <laughs> thank you, Chantel. <laughs> Okay, Kitty, your turn. <laughs> um, oh, I, most definitely. I, I mean, like I said, it, it depends on your maturity level uh, of the man and the woman and stuff. But, I mean, yeah, I have a lot of friends that I've known for a long time that, like I said, we close. I, I have, you know, a great BFF. Uh, shout out, uh, you know, to Vanessa. Uh, you know, we, we've been friends for a long time. We ride Harleys together. You know, we, we talk about things. We share things, personal things, you know, together. 
but we have that bond. Like I said, she's like a sister to me mm. and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and the thing is this, you know, like most people think that you can't do that or mm -hmm. they have the mentality that they think that they can't be mm -hmm. friends with a female. Mm -hmm. and, and, and honestly, like you said, it's kind of nice having a female friend cause she going to break it down to mm -hmm. you yes. mm -hmm. what women are really right. about. Cause let's be honest, us men, we still <laughs> trying to figure out what women are like. We, mm. we might think we know, sure. but we don't know. Absolutely <laughs> not. We good at pretending, <laughs> right? but we don't know. Kwame? We don't know. Come on, Mr. Cocky Clothing. <laughs> Come on, Come on, Come on, nephew. I mean, you can. I mean, I mean, I mean, you can. It's it's there. Um, you know, it's about coming into that about coming into that situation. But but about that, it also depends on when when those two people met each other. Also, you know what I'm saying? If, if they met each other. You know what I'm saying? During a relationship or they met each other while they were single or this and that. You know, th things happen because to tell you the truth, when you open up to somebody about whatever, you know, be come on, man. You got to be honest. People are going to people are going to get feelings and things may happen or whatever the case may be. And you can have a <clears throat> uh, man. You can't even call it platonic if you guys did it. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Even if you did it once. You can cross the line with that. Even if you cross the line. No, I'm. I'm I'm just keeping it's it 100. Yeah. I I have I have friends that I've been friends with for for over, you know, 10, 15 years that we've end up you know, crossing that line, but at the same time we still good because we just you know, it was just something that happened. You know what I'm saying? We got caught up in the moment, and then we. But trust me, she didn't gain a different kind of emotion for you, whether you want to admit it or I, not. But is it, now, is it possible? It, but yeah. Now, but is it possible for men and women who have crossed that line to go back into that genuine friendship? Yes, is it, it is. It is. Yes. It is. Okay. Yes. Yes. It, it 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 totally is. Sometimes sometimes it's like you want you want to keep it 100. It's like this. You you come to a point where you guys are friends enough to know what each other need at that moment you may mm. that may have been just what you guys needed at that mm. time okay you know what i mean okay. to get over to get okay. over whatever and then it's like okay we're, we're good but it's it's what was needed and sometimes you end up loving the person even more after that because of the simple fact of you were there for them you know across the board you know it's, ain't, ain't nothing changed like mm. i'm just so, being realistic with it i like, like that okay right? joe right I think it's possible, but for my experience, this is all premarital. So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Okay. Okay. I'm cool okay. with it. She, you know, he, it was yeah. we were we weren't married yeah. at twelve. Yeah. 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 Brother had a life. I just say. <laughs> so you had to say 12, you know, keep it in the safe zone. Yeah, but but you know, in, in my experience, you. in my experience, it's, it's led to other things. I, I, I don't have any really platonic friendships with women right now because it's just... It's, it's just one thing that led to another. Like I said, maybe those moments, the things got that got close. And uh, whether it's a, a gap or years or whatever, things change just happen. So right. I just don't, you know, yeah. I, I never really maintain one. Yeah. Hi, you're live with Hot Tops with Lady Charmaine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Sacramento. All right, what's your first name again? Hey, fellas. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, what's your name again? This is Marie. Oh, hey, Marie. Oh, what's up, Marie? <laughs> what all, okay. Marie? Hey, Couldn't resist. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't resist. Give me your Don't thoughts. Talk about this thing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So... Um, what's his name? Kwame. Yes. <laughs> That's him right here. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. You kept it. You kept it one hundred. You are who I think of when I hear people say we just friends. Yeah. Now I noticed that the brothers on the end, Derek and Kenny, they use the word "sis" in that friendship, which is the marker of the line that you do not cross. That's the marker of the beast. That. <laughs> but the <laughs> Kwame kept it so real about the friendship thing because if you are in a vulnerable moment, that may happen. It may happen. Mm -hmm. yes. But one thing mm -hmm. I do want to say is, you're saying that, oh, and we was cool after that, but I'm telling you, it was never cool to a woman because mm -hmm. she left mm -hmm. attached whether you saw it or not. Yeah. But, See, but, that's but, what but I was saying. But, but mm -hmm. yes, and, that, and, that's, and that's totally real because yes, to, that's how we're but designed. a woman, but you, got, but you can't say that just about a woman because a man can feel the same way also. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's oh, just, of course, it of comes course. to that, it you comes know, to that maturity. Generalizing yeah, I get you. It comes to no, that maturity on how you deal, deal with a person. I think as women, we tend to go there quicker and faster than y'all would, though. Oh, most definitely. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't say that. Depending on the man. Yeah, 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 it depends on the you man. You can't even though. say depending on the man because a man loves just as hard as a woman and, and probably even faster sometimes. You know what well, I'm saying? I don't, so you don't know. Oh, well, yeah, then, but you know you got that I testosterone, that. especially but, if a man didn't got a lot of other chicks on the side and you just a, you know, in the wind type of chick. Yeah. You, know, you, on the you know, and then you got some sure. type of sensitive men that rip falling. Oh, I'm in love with you after the first time. Oh, my God. Like, and the friendship is out the window. I don't got that much experience and you the next one. Oh, my God. I'm in love. With her, I'm gonna ch- she done changed my something new. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got them kind, <laughs> and you know it, man. <laughs> my, last point is, has another point. my last point that I'm gonna close with is friendship between men and women is a tricky thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. it is. And like Mr. Kenny said, you got to be mature enough to know how to do that. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Very right. good. Not just yes. something you just do. No, yeah. no, you it, like That's I said, right. a, a friend could tell you anything. Like I said, as a, as a friend, you're gonna share. Everything you 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 gonna sit there and talk about some some personal stuff that you won't even talk with your homeboys with because you know it's a lot safer being with that 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 female because a lot of times your brothers you know you you, you we we say something or tell our partners a secret and before you even walk out the room they already didn't tell their partner next to you like I always tell people I say you tell one person you done told everybody yeah uh, but with a female and stuff like I said y'all are very secretive. Y'all are very secretive on the we things that you... We talk to each other. Oh, hold on. Um, Wait a minute. Well, that's, that's, I, I wouldn't agree with that. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to <laughs> no, I'm talking about the secretive... Guy, I'm saying I'm talking talk secretive with the man and the... And the I'm talking <laughs> about the secretive with that man. And, the, and, and you, you know, like I said, if I have a female that's my best friend, I know I can tell her things that I can't tell my partners sometimes. You know, or you, you just need somebody that's actually going to listen to what you got to say and get you. off your chest. A lot you. of times you can go to your homeboys and stuff and there's things that you're like, man, I really want to express it to them or tell them, hey, man, I'm feeling a certain way about something. About what they're gonna say but to you're you. gonna be like, man, if I tell him this, how he gonna look at me? Or he gonna measure you up to him, like, oh, that's something I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do that. I don't do that. Me either. Right. Like, you can't be that. That's being okay. judgmental. Yeah. So you can be vulnerable in the moments with your female friend. Oh, yes, but most at, definitely. At some point, wouldn't that female friend, like, if you're in a relationship though, and you got your best friend, aren't you sharing a little too much with that with that platonic friend that you should be sharing with somebody else? I think that's where. You, well, you can, hmm. you can your, yeah. your best friend now may, may feel a certain yeah. way, your girlfriend may feel yeah. a certain way. So at some point, she got to put, put distance between that platonic relationship once you get into one. But maybe oh, maybe your, your woman at home cannot be, because you know, you got you can't make up a woman and, and take a little bit of this one and take a little bit of this one. Maybe your woman at home can't give you the compassion that you need, and she already aware that this female friend, that's why she's allowed it, because this you got certain females won't even allow that into your relationship. So I but, feel like sometimes when ooh, when your when your when know, you got that female, that, that, yeah, it that, can be a problem if you problem. don't have everything right. laid out on the table. I don't know, but like that's it, a that's considered more of a trust issue I'm right there. Back, if, I'm if, if your back if your woman cannot do female friend that's not a good thing. What's she there for, though? If what is I'm she my female friend for? She can't be that that. Girl, I don't know if that's the person. I just don't feel like what is that? If if if, if I okay, listen. If I got a female friend, she's different from my male friends, right? Like Kenny just said, sometimes you can't because the testosterone level. You might tell a man, "Oh man, I, I didn't I didn't get her this for Christmas." Oh, I wouldn't do that. I I would have definitely got my chick something from one to one, and not knowing the the money issue or whatever the case may be. That's just man to man. But if you got a female, you telling that you she might even help you out. Look, don't tell her I gave you the money, but look, just go don't get her tell something. Her I gave you the money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you know, oh, your oh, female God, friend could 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 help you out like that. It ain't never happened to me, I, you know what I'm saying? But at the yeah. end of the day, it's just that female compassion. I, I've no, never or, seen that work out either. Mm. I've never seen a woman say, oh, that was cool. She just played you some money. I've never seen that work out either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Because you wouldn't know. I mean, if ain't nobody telling you, how do you know that? All, the, well, all you need to know is that you got the gift that, that you've been you've been begging this man for, and he he, he had a friend to, to break it off to him, like a female <laughs> friend to help him out with it, you know? Like you could get your partners to do it. All I'm saying I know, is, I know it's hypothetical what you was yeah, what you're saying, right. but it's just a, it's just a, a comparison. It's well, just yeah, like, yeah. I, I, well, like like you said though before and stuff. It, it, again, it's what type of friendship do you have with that female, and then also it has to deal with what type of woman you are with. Yeah, is she yeah, strong yeah. enough to understand? Okay, that's his female friend. They BFS right. or whatever the situation, and he has told you. I've never slept with her. I've never kissed her. We just hung out. Most women good. ain't going to believe you anyway. They right. ain't going to believe that. But my thing is this, though. If it's a true woman that really got your back and is in love with you and really cares about you and stuff, she's going to sit there and say, okay, that's my friend. But you also, as the man, need to understand, 
this is my woman over here. Right. right. I, I'm going to have to limit the things that I do and say with my BFF. Exactly. And right. she's got to understand. And, she's have to and if, understand she doesn't, that, if she doesn't, then she doesn't understand. You know, it was more. It was more really than was, just platonic. She really was yeah. not your friend. That's it. That's Think about it. that whole friendship connection yeah. thing. Yeah. Right. You got to reevaluate. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> Bye, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's quite interesting. Mm. So y'all, y'all was talking some interesting stuff, and Derek, you always have a unique point of view. You know, I, I'm just because that's <laughs> just world that's just deep. me. Period. Yeah, I know. And I, I have a female. Fr- I, I have a female what? friend, but they have to. They've been introduced. Like the, you, you gonna know her just like she know me. And mm-hmm. if you keeping her on out, out, out of the out, out of the rank, then of course that female gonna feel a certain way every time mm-hmm. she come around. Mm-hmm. But if your if your wife or your girlfriend is giving your best. Uh, 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 friend female a hug and all that and even calling her to try to say you know what I've been dealing with this with the one woman she becomes both of y'all best friends in a sense I think that's how it should be mm-hmm. right not just that's like how, where it's that's just, how it's supposed yeah. to be yeah. but right. that's not how I was always gonna yeah. go it's because, not but, you know, but I'm just saying that's how it's gonna work it's never gonna be like how you put it on paper but at the end of the day like I said it's never gonna be like how you put it on paper at the end of the day like you said though if you introduce if you you really say that that's your BFF and y'all are strictly platonic. You're gonna sit there and say, "Hey, this is my girl." Exactly. This, uh, but you don't I, have and introduce but the, it to, yes, but you know, and, people and don't have no, some people don't have no problem doing that. But then at the same time, once again, it goes back to that maturity thing or whatever. Oh yeah, because mm-hmm. the other party is gonna be like, "Well, this person may know so much about you that you're not trusting me to." To tell me about her, to tell me about this, and to tell me about Man, that, and then there's, and then there, and then it becomes trust issues within that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So right. I mean, it's absolutely. Well, prime it's, example. It's, I mean, what what was that? What was the movie? Individuals. What was, what was the one movie? Uh, the um, uh, Tay Diggs. Basketball. Basketball. Uh, basketball. Yeah, see how that well, flipped. But he ended up having sex with Nia Long though. Remember? No, not, no, no, not, not that one. Basketball. Uh, Sinai Lathan. Sinai Lathan. Oh, that's uh, Love and Basketball. Love and basketball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that was uh, Makai uh, uh, Omar Epps. Yeah, but no, Omar what, what, what was the one where it was Tay Diggs and um, that was the best soul man. food and everything else? And, 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 best Man. No, Brown Sugar. Brown Sugar. Brown Sugar. Oh, that's that, what it is, Brown that, Sugar. That, that I was about to say that. Prime example. I mean, you look at it stuff. Like I said, he grew up with her. That's his BFF. He introduced, what it was is, if you notice, he never got around to really introducing who she was because... You could see the bond that they had when they he had the. Inter- uh, he always introduced that, but that's going back to what Homegirl just said because of the simple fact of, you know what I mean? Um, what did she say? Um, dang, brain freeze on that one. Um, the fact of, th- he's he, in his mind, they're best of friends. In her mind, she's in love with him. Mm. Oh yeah, because she knows everything about him yeah. also. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you never know how a BFF like feels about that particular person. And a woman they, can and they pick up on that. A woman can pick. She gonna pick oh, yeah. up on right. that. You you introduce your best friend to the woman but you she dating. She gonna she gonna pick up on every every little every little, every little oh, touch, just, every oh, little yeah, nuance, oh, yeah, every yeah, little oh, hand yeah. hand and shoulder, all of that, all of that, all of that. Yeah, she gonna put some distance between your friends. And they telepathic. And they go telepathic. And ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no man on this panel. If you flip that, going loud, my wife can't have. No male best friend. He, it, only if, if he entered, if she knew him before me, that's completely different. But I ain't gonna rip that friendship apart. But you talking about you met him at work and now y'all spend all this no, time. No, no, no. Yeah, he's your right. new best friend. Yeah. Ain't no man on this panel going loud at. That's think, when it's one sided. No, no, I think when you start spending a whole lot of time with somebody, that's very, to me, that's very different. And that's where you can get into some, yes. some, right. some yeah. treading water. But it's also, yeah. it's also about people's eat, insecurity because I'm Netflix I give, and chilling. Stop I, lying, man. You will not. Let me finish. Let me finish my statement. I give I give three. I don't know. We can curse on the airways. I'm, 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 uh, no, I'm, don't curse. Get, get creative. Yeah. You gotta get creative. Yeah, there you go. Get creative. I, I, give, I, give, I give three of them. But here goes my here goes my, here goes my here goes my thing. Here goes my right thing right here. If you have to hide them. That's when it becomes the problem. Right. Absolutely. Period. Yeah, without Absolutely. a doubt. Period. You ain't supposed to be I'm, I'm secure no, no, enough no. in myself to deal. But if you have to sit up there and hide them, like, yeah, that oh, that's nothing. Right. Well, hold on. What, yeah, what's absolutely. this right here? What's yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, it's nothing. Yeah. Because they, yeah, they what's this emoji you're sending you over here with the hearts and everything? <laughs> wow. What's going on with that? And, and that's true. Yeah, you can't bring the person around because you know people will pick up on them vibes. Like the song Secret Lovers. Like they even said, even in the song. That's it. We can't even go around our spouse because they going to pick it up. When the dude was at the house. And his phone rang, and it was the guy's <laughs> wife, and in the in the ringtone was "Secret Lover," and he looked at him like. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Secret lover, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, that's that's not going to work. That's what we are. So if you want to chime in on the conversation, give us a call. 916-226-9226. Can men and women oh, be damn. friends? Because remember last night when Sal called in, Sal was talking about how he can literally sleep in a bed with a woman and don't Come do anything. On, but, but the purpose behind what he was doing and the reason why he didn't smoke touch her yeah, mirrors. with the smoke, smoke mirror. Smoke mm-hmm. and mirrors. Do you know? Because, uh, oh, here we go. Hi, you're live with Hot Times with Lady Charmaine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Charmaine. How you doing? This Sal one more time. Hey, Sal. Sal. What's up, Sal? Go, Sal. We've been right. waiting on we you. We talking about uh, you. <laughs> we was wondering when you was going to chime no. in. We knew you was going to call. Come in. Had to come we knew you was coming. So I'm listening. I'm listening to the brothers, right? Mm-hmm. And trust me, I respect the brothers. I respect y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? But you can't just sit there and tell me <laughs> that you can just have a girl as a best friend. I mean, and not 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 have no nothing or she not have no nothing for you, bro. Come on, man. I never I never said that. I never I never said that. that. Let's talk some man stuff. So, no, I, I kept mean, it I kept yeah, it one. Man, I kept it one. Man, one. Man, we gotta yeah. keep it real on here. Okay, yeah, well let's yeah, keep it let's, okay. let's keep it one hundred like I, I, I never said that. That's the same way we felt about you when you was talking about sleeping butt naked in in the bed with her and acting like you you know what I'm saying you weren't finna jump her bones or she was finna jump yours. But like I said, hey was what he said was some real stuff if you're it, it, it comes from a standpoint of like this. If you a dude that you got females and, and you ain't worried about sex like that, you right. you'll play them you'll That's play different. them mind games to to get in their head. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't just about yeah. her body. You can get in her head. And if you sit up there and you lay with her the whole night and not touch her and not do nothing, like like Sal says, she gonna be thinking about what the hell is wrong with my right. with my kitty? Is it is it's what, a Jedi is, or mind trick? Or what's what I'm wrong saying? with and you? And then the next day, your phone after you leave the house, your phone ringing. Hey, I just just wanted to see if you wanted to go to lunch or you wanted to do you know what I'll see I'll see you later on I'm a little bit busy next thing you know they on your line and then anytime you want to call she want to see you like it's a thing to do come on man stop playing with me it's the thing come on man come on hey, I've been hey, married for hey, 22 so hey, y'all gave me up but that now, now he understand where I'm coming from with it because again that's how we go man right. yeah. you know what I'm right. saying okay. I mean in my form in my formal life I did a little pimping man so in my formal <laughs> oh yeah life, <laughs> That lifestyle mm-hmm. no more, man. Yeah, but what right. I'm saying is that I know like the brother like the brother said, my my wife can't have no male best friend. Because again, no. I know where cat yep. intentions where, 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 are. Yeah, right. exactly. It might be it might be innocent. It might be innocent from the beginning, mm-hmm. but again, Things women build happen, emotional man. connections. Things happen. I don't care. I don't care where, when, or why. Things happen, man. That's why I'm not gonna go hang out with no woman, you know, and be and her be my best friend. You know what I'm saying? Because again, that same mm-hmm. that I mean, and here I am. I'm gonna preach to you now. That <laughs> same Come enemy through. that had me bamboozled back when I was a youngster. That same enemy still lurking my life right now. That's so it. I can't that's fall it. for that trap yeah. no more. Hey, that, hey that's, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's the business, I'm, that's right? Sal, that was real talk. That's you know, I appreciate it when you Thank call you. in. Thank you so much for calling in, Sal. It's all good. Hey, brothers, y'all enjoy, man. Hey, hey just keep it 100, baby. I'll support you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good one, bro. So, so, so in other words, she can't be your best friend. She might be a friend. But your okay. best friend better okay. be whoever you with. What do you say? That I mean, that's mm-hmm. that's and, how it's supposed, that's how it's supposed to be. I mean, like I mean, you said, whoever you with, whoever you that's say your best that that's friend. my woman. People Y'all have more than be one best friend. That goes friend. back to the first conversation I was saying. If more people would spend more time trying to be friends with the Amen. person they live. Amen. Yeah. Both sides. On both sides. Not just then one. you're going to have less issues that you yeah. have. Yeah. You're going to have those less arguments if y'all are, you know, like I said, if I can sit there and say that my wife or, or my girlfriend is my best friend, people need to understand our connection that we have is way different than what they see. Exactly. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Just like saying I'm married and I'm happily married when somebody trying to get at you. Oh, I'm happily married or I'm married. I, I, somebody just recently told me right. it's, it's, a, di- it's a, difference. a difference between There's a difference. Mm-hmm. You know, There's a difference. And, and, you know, watch how you say it when you when say you, it. For real. Also, difference between in love and what? I, being, I being, being, being in, 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 in love and loving somebody. Loving right. or whatever. Yeah, loving I mean, somebody and being in, in love, love with somebody. Yeah. Completely. Now, right. I feel that. Right. It's definitely two different things. Yeah. Okay, fellas. Now, here's another hot topic question that I was sent. Okay, you've been approached by someone who has expressed interest in you. 
You find them attractive but decline because you're already involved. The person then asks, well, take my number, but just in case things don't go as planned. You enter their number in your phone. Is that cheating? Hmm. Um, <laughs> shit. Um, truthfully, I'm going to let you finish. Yes. People, people, you know, nowadays relationships get messed up because of the simple fact of a lot of people have this you know, have this mind state, there's always somebody out there better. You know what I'm saying? There's always uh, somebody out there better. There's always somebody this, yeah, there's always yeah. somebody that. So the fact that you would even consider to take that, you know, th- take the number, period, you know what I'm saying? It's the issue, like, you already you already d- being disrespectful if they tell you, hey, we're in a relationship, blah, 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 blah. You know, here, take my number in case it don't work out. So first of all, what mm-hmm. you doing? You praying on my downfall? On. Is, I mean, I'm, I'm just I'm just keeping it 100. You praying yeah. on my downfall? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, good, there's there's no need for me to do that. But some people will sit up there and be like, you know, ha, 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 you cute, and then put it in, and then yeah. kind of go from there. And then mm-hmm. you and your dude or you and your woman go through some shit, yeah. oh, excuse me, go through some stuff, <laughs> go through some stuff, and then that Number start in looking really good. We'll give you a dictionary. You know, yeah, when that, that number start looking really good, and you click, and, you yeah. know, and it kind of go from there, and that's yeah. how stuff get messed up. But no, I'm good. well, like I said, I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's considered cheating because, like you said, you've opened up that gateway for that person to look at you and say, you know what, his relationship that he has and the woman that he's with right now really ain't all that to him, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Because that's you're wrong. entertaining. Yeah. You're, entertaining. You're, you're basically you. you're entertaining their thought process that they're having at that time about you when they look at you. Mm. In their mind, they've already judged you as a cheater. Mm. Come on, you know what I'm saying? On, because that's the reason on, why man. they approached you. That's the reason why they gave you the number. It ain't mm. even a matter of the fact that you look good. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's on. a matter of, oh, he look like he going to cheat. Let me holler at him. If mm-hmm. I throw the action to him, let's see what he <laughs> does. Like he going to like, cheat. Like, 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 like our man said, prior life he had. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. You, you throw it out there. It's like mm-hmm. fishing. Mm-hmm. It's like fishing. Yep. You throw it out there, you reel it in. You're like, okay, do I want to keep yep. this Bait. one? Mm-hmm. Let me throw it back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you're fishing. And that's what that person is doing when they throw that out there and stuff. I mean, like I said, personally, she's already disrespected you mm. by sitting there saying, in case things don't work out. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Right. She's already disrespected you. She's already disrespected the woman that you with because she don't know nothing about her. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now, again, that's she's good. already looking at you yep. that you're a cheater. Come on. Come on I'm going to say this. Cheating is always premeditated. Oh yeah, it's premeditated. You because there's something in you. If you're going to accept the number, or you 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 feeling a certain way because you get a compliment or somebody say something, and if you feeling something in you that's going to push you towards a, a, away that. from your relationship into something else, there was something already there to begin with. Oh, so and it may be a, it may be a, maybe a number now, but that number is going going to look really good, like you said, when things get yeah. rough, when you get in an argument, oh, yeah. and so that's going that's going to happen. Then, uh, hold on, let me so it's premeditated <laughs> when somebody said, "No, no, no, I'm married." No. No, no, yeah. no, yeah. no. Yeah, because you don't appro- you don't expect that. Yeah, but but, but, but there's something there's something there's something in you there's something in you that that put yourself in that situation where she's even that close. Right. There's something mm-hmm. that she's an aggressive woman that, that she's that, that she's even wrestling you down. You telling me you gonna get wrestled down and just held well, down? Well, that's where they the sense and, 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 and straddle. Yeah. And then she goes because you're be getting on you. weak. Hey. She's touching areas. And, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, you, you, no. You, you, look, you that's play, why they look, say look, men is weak, right? You better play like a goalie and stuff. Ball <laughs> <laughs> come in. What do they do? The foot come out. Start blocking. Elbow. Block. You better block. <laughs> your, your, your kung fu better be good. I'm saying you allow that. That's how you kung fu. You see that aggressive? in. Kung Fu better be good. Step your Kung Fu game up. That, that, that's, that, I'm saying that's premeditated. You, 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 oh saw, you saw things happening and you didn't do anything to stop it. Yeah, you're she right. You ring the doorbell. Right. I can't even. You're going to let her in. Talking about we just friends. That's See, that's true. what that friend zone. Right. You thought you could let her into that zone. And then one true. thing led to another. Right. I mean, that's premeditated. That's true. I'm, yeah, yeah. I just, you're too I don't strong. Know. Premeditated. You, you, you're too here strong, go, brother. You you're way too strong for that. Oh my God! Yeah, I don't see. Yeah, Derek got quick hair. He's a hairdresser, so you already he know. Got no, no, he, got, he, he got good. You no, know, no, no, not today. Not today, Saint. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. okay, okay y'all, here, <laughs> here is another question. Okay, so we got men in here, and and I uh, believe everybody in here have children. Yes. yes. Okay, now you are separated from your girlfriend, your spouse. You're no longer together. Should your spouse have a say so in your dating life when it comes time to bring? the new person you're dating around your kids. Because, you know, wow. you have a lot of people in a relationship. I don't want you bringing them around my kids. You know. Oh. And now, if you well, saying it like that, no. You're no. not going to get nowhere you're with not me. Get but with if no you way. say, you know, 
I know we didn't work out, but I, I really respect you and I respect your household and I respect, I want both of us to respect our children. Is there any way we could sit down and you could do the same with me if you don't like them. Let's, let's just try to figure out a medium to where we both respect each other and try to, you know, respect this out to make me feel comfortable and you. Uh, Maybe oh, I'm, I'll be able to I, deal with that. Oh, like, oh, I, oh don't, I, I, you I, better I, not I, have I, so and so I, around my baby. I, then you're not well, getting nowhere with I, me I, like I, that. I, 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 you know what? You got to cut your, what's your approach? If you even say, if you even say that, if you even say that, then it's like, you still have attachments True. there. Absolutely. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, so I'm not I'm not going I'm not you know what? As long as my kids are happy, we good. Anything happen, you know what I mean? And my kids will let me know about that stuff cuz they let me know about everything. And I just dealt I just dealt with this kind of I just dealt with this kind of stuff, but um if you know hey, your life is your life. I don't I don't give a damn what you do. If you want to be a hoe, you want to be a Dang! Look, I'm gonna have to. No, 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 no. If you want to be, say help. if you want to be, if you want to, if you want to be, uh, then be, uh, you right. know, and go from there. Don't do that stuff around my. That would probably be the only thing that I say. You know, if you want to see this person, see that person. Don't don't see them with with multiple different people the whole nine yards, and you just you know going from there. You mm, know what I mean? Mm, Respect right. our kids. Right. That's right. Well, that that yeah. would be the it's line a, right there. Now, what if she say the same thing with you, man? You've been having too many females over. I don't stop. You know, so you will accept that. Well, to tell you the truth, I, I don't. I'm a single father, so I don't even. I don't even trip off that. And, and to tell you the truth, if I'm getting down with somebody, I'm getting down when it's her weekend. But I'm just saying, you know if, saying? if you I was able to say that to her, would you allow her that door to be open with you as well? I mean, if she said that to me, that's fine because of the simple fact of you gotta you gotta respect the fact that that's their mother and stuff as well. So, with that being said, you like okay, you can listen and go from there, but. I'm going to let you know right off top. You already know me and you know how I am with my kids. So, you know, you ain't even got to worry about that. So the fact that you even said that, you, you'll you get a little irritated because yeah, you already insulted. know how you are. Mm -hmm. right. But then you still got to respect them because that's, you know, that's the mother of your kids and you go from there. Right. And then if I want to be, uh, and, and, and uh, you know, we're going to find that word in the dictionary. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Right. But, you know, you just got to, you just got to go from there. But. Well. And also too, it's it's a twofold right. part though. Again, when you when you're dealing with the children, and you're dealing with an ex or whatever and stuff, my thing is this: you and that ex should actually have a conversation right, right, about right. okay, you know what, I'm seeing somebody or this is what's going on, and you and your your, your ex should actually have a conversation with mm -hmm. one another and stuff that I need you to I need to introduce you to my new lady or the person that I'm seeing or the person that I want to be with, mm -hmm. um, and vice versa. True. She should be introduced to, to the man. But, now, no, and, no, but I'm and, saying you do that at the very beginning and stuff and everything else, so that you can say, okay, let's set our boundaries on what we're, we're we're doing and stuff. Look, I want you to introduce you. I want you to meet the person that I have around. I care about this person. They're not going nowhere. Right. Mm -hmm. You need mm -hmm. to let that that fact be known. They're mm -hmm. not going anywhere yeah, right yeah, now yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But I need to meet. I want them to meet my children. I want them to see the extension of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And you, like I said, you both have to be on the same page and have that understanding. You know, and, and, and once you have that understanding, it'll be more seamless mm. in, no. in the transaction. You, you think it'll be it? That's, that's no, ideal. Saying, no, but that's, 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 that's ideal. ideal. That's ideal. But, but a lot of times you don't rent it. But again, it did, you, you got to, like he said, you got to know the type of woman that you was yeah. with. She's an ex. I, I would, she, I would she say she might be an ex for a reason. He might be an ex for a right, reason. Right, right, So you might have to approach it in a different way, like you said, and say, look, okay, I know you're probably seeing somebody. I'm seeing somebody. Okay. I'm gonna give you the respect. What if they're not seeing nobody? So, so this this, this this is what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead, Jim. I, I would say I would say no, just flat out. So if if my ex has some say about who I'm dating, I, I'm not gonna give that person power to decide whether well, my relationship yeah. is right. good yeah, or not really, for the really, kids. Really that that that, okay. that decision is is for me to decide whether it's good or not for the kids. Because as an ex, you just lost your ranking as far as input into my life and especially my dating life of who I'm going to be with, right. who I'm spending my time with. So right. if you have an issue with that, that's something for you to work out on your own. Right. You know, yeah. with with no, with whoever he's you dating or whatever. So, but also if you, too, it depends on how how long how you've been seeing that person. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I think you out of pocket if you are seeing somebody and you only been seeing them like two months, mm -hmm. right. and it's like, okay, here's this kid. I'm bringing my children around, and everything else. I think you out of pocket for doing that. You know what I'm saying? You still gotta <laughs> understand. Do you really want to be with this you, particular person, or are you even trying you to? But have yeah, but that's 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 mm -hmm. my no, no, decision. Everybody, everybody, it's not everybody. A system, everybody it's a, I'm saying no. It's a, I'm not saying like it, a system it's, it's, like it's that. It's a time frame and stuff. Because like I said, it does you depend can't, on how you long you've been dating. You though. can't base it off a time frame. Also, every situation is different. You oh, have yeah. to you have to do. You have people that's like I would never do that, and then you have people like you know, you know that like. 
hey, you know, something just happened and it just clicked and then it went from there. You know, right. it's. You, but would you, yeah, would your ex have that influence to say, hey, this is too early? You know, somebody no. said, so, so your ex is saying, no, you haven't been knowing her that long. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And now, no, now that, that ex right. is outside the relationship, she impacting who you seeing and how you because how much time still, you spend it with still, them. Because there's still feelings there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's all yeah, based, yeah. It's yeah. All based you, on If you it's let them make a decision feelings. for it's, it's, it's and, and that's the point. It depends on where that's coming from because jealousy can be there. Control. There you go. Control. So you got you got to weigh out. But nowadays you have to sit up there. You have to you have to kind of be you know, a little bit on there because you, man, come on, man. You see so much stuff in the news and all of this stuff that's going on oh, with yeah, these parents yeah. and all this stuff oh, yeah. and these kids and stuff. So you have to, you have to sit up there and kind of keep a, a, a keep a watchful eye. Always. You, you anybody know, that comes into your children's yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah, true. Around that's, that's, yeah. that's anybody. Cause, anybody cause, anybody cause, coming man, into your children's man, lives and stuff, man, you're yep. going to be watching and looking and stuff because man. like I said, that's your, that's your blood. Yep. Yep. Man, you know? mm-hmm. I don't play with mine. Never. I have seven kids and I don't play with mine. Okay. No, no. Not at all. <laughs> okay, wait. Look, yeah. I'm, trying, I'm telling you, I'm gonna break out that dictionary for next time. Man, man, I have a. Woo, no, that's right. Man, have a, this this is not I'm the uncut you. version right, right here. Right, right. We're not, we're not exactly hey, she uncut. Now you know. Okay, no. Kwame came. We did a movie night. It's called um, Lady Charmaine's Night Out at the Movies, and we went to go see the movie Nobody's Fool. Mm-hmm. And so Kwame came to the movies, and we had an interesting conversation in the parking lot mm-hmm. after the movie because we talked about it last night with the women um, on last night. Now in the movie, Tika Sumter's character, she is you know basically she is she works as an ad executive and she gets coffee every day at a coffee shop. The gentleman who owns the coffee shop is always flirting with her. She's flirting with him, and but later on she finds out that he had was a felon that he was in jail. So she basically lost interest in him, even though he was successful, turned his life around. So my question is, this is one thing that me and Kwame was talking about: Should a woman still give a man a chance, even though he was a felon? Even though he he doing well, or should she tread lightly, or should she feel like she's lowering her standards to date someone who had possibly been in jail or in prison? And so, Kwame, you had an interesting story that I thought was interesting because I'm gonna let you tell your story. No, I ain't gonna tell. Just remind me, <laughs> remind me. I, I got a lot. Uh, yeah, no, because he said it reminded him of himself. Yeah, because uh, man, because you know what, women be. Women be on that judgmental stuff, like mm. like seriously, they be on that they be on that judgmental stuff. And and the messed up thing about it, you know, no disrespect to, you know, a lot of women or whatever the case may be, but you know, women be out here judging dudes like they got all their stuff together. Mm-hmm. And I said stuff instead of the other word, because man, I was about to <laughs> God say bless else. you. But they <laughs> they, you. they be out here like they have everything in their life together. Right, right, like right. they have no baby daddy no issues. Like they have no financial issues. Like they have no this and they have no that. And they out there trying to, you know, pick and choose a dude that's gonna sit up there and and put them over this over the top or do this or do that. And then when they find out that the dude has flaws in his past or do this or do that then they want to sit up there and, and oh, oh nah I'm, I'm all like that like I, I was in a situation to the point where me and my ex would get into freaking arguments of, of past stuff like of, of, of my past not even stuff that we've dealt with I'm talking about past stuff before we even got together stuff mm. you know what I mean mm. and it used to cause and it used to cause all kinds of problems the right. funny thing is and this this just happened not too long ago but I literally, I literally got a call. I literally got a call from her in regards to the fact that come to find out somebody that I dealt with one night thing or whatever that I dealt with 12 years ago just happened to be the mother of her nephew. And I met her before I met her and dealt with her before number one, this child was even born. Number two, before I knew you, all of that stuff like that. And she was pissed off at me like I just slept with the girl yesterday. <laughs> wow. it, was, it, just, it, just, it just hurt me the fact that, you know what I'm saying, wow. she talking how she slept with my man. But did, did you know, did you, did you know she that she know knew that. the girl? Okay, let me, let me explain, let me explain this. When they're, they're not related. Okay. But the thing is, she, my thing is, she, told, she, she showed me a picture or whatever of the girl. And I simply said, I know her. Well, that's where you hold went on, wrong. Hold on, no, because it ain't you, a, it ain't you ain't withholding it, information right there. It ain't just part. about, but Bro. I'm gonna tell you why I said. Okay, that. say, come because on. Because of the simple fact of, I'm just saying that's because, how she felt. And, and 
you, you can I say agree whatever. with you, you can completely. Say, you can say whatever but you I'm want to because that's how if the roles were reversed, if we're, if the roles were reversed, because mm-hmm. I know somebody, actually two people that she used to deal with that I'm cool with right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? And she right. never said anything. Mm-hmm. And when I tried to say, well, hold on, blah, blah, blah. see, that's, diff- that's What's different. What's different about that? She wrong. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's because a lot of people they don't want to take responsibility for their own ish. Accountability. I'm gonna say right. ish. I'm gonna say ish. <laughs> so we get it. that. You got it. You got because it. of the simple fact of it's like I. Do I have to sit up there and tell you everything? I have no problem with telling you everything. But the way that you used to talk about this girl and talk about how she was to your brother and what type of person she was and how you don't have no communication or no this, no that, all of that stuff, you know, and just and like mm. like talking bad about the girl, I just left it be. I know her and left it at that. Okay. You know right. what I mean? All because right. she's that type that, like I said, try to bring up the past and all that stuff. She's the type that will sit up there and judge me on the fact that I was I, I even dealt okay. with her. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. So that's why that's why I did that. Okay. That's why I did that. Mm-hmm. But the cold part about it, you called me. You called me on Facetime, and I'm chilling on the couch. And you know, hey man, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Blah 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 blah. And then she turned the phone to the girl, mm. and I'm like. Wow. Yeah, no, and that's like, messy, and the girl, and the girl, work. and the girl, like, and that's the girl, messy. like, hey, no. my man. And I'm like, what's up? Yeah, it's right been now. a long time. It sure has. What? <laughs> right. What, what, are you, what are you doing? doing? But then she, but then she got a whole attitude about uh, uh, about it yeah. because of the simple fact of you. You didn't explain all of this. I told you that I knew you her me up. and left right. it and left it but at that. So don't even try to. So basically, so basically, it's a moral issue. Yeah, she yeah she, she and she started it. She started it. Yeah, period. Yeah. That's Everything it. Else. That, that, Cause she didn't yeah. release the information because she, she she, she should have already because that's why the podcast okay. going on okay, in the past. Okay, so basically she was just as guilty as Absolutely. you were, but she yes, wanted to hold it against you. Again, the only reason why I didn't go into everything is because we're always was, getting into arguments about, about my past yeah. because right, she's yeah. the type that really ain't never been through nothing, ain't had mm-hmm. to deal with this mm-hmm. kind of struggle, that kind of struggle, the whole nine yards. So every little thing that I went through in my life that I've talked to her about, you know what I'm saying? I'm being judged on it. Right. You know, right. I'm talking Throwing to her. Throwing it back in your face. Exactly. Right. I'm yeah, that's talking, not, right. that's I'm not talking, cool. I'm talking cool. to her one time no, about no. when I got when I got stabbed in cool. my back by, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, uh, Pharrell and them people, you know, when we were at a concert in Reno, you know, and oh I'm fighting God. 12 people and I'm telling her about the story and then all of a sudden we get into an argument because she said I'm glorifying it. How am I glorifying it? I'm just telling you the that's story. That's your testimony. Yes, exactly. And you didn't got stabbed. You stupid stuff. So that's why <laughs> oh, I didn't no, even go no. into it. So now we're going to get back to this question that was at hand. Right. Y'all want to chime in? Give us a call. 916 226 9226. We're talking about, okay, a woman meets a man. He got it going on. He's successful now, but he was once a felon. He may have even committed murder. Um, can you still date him? Do you feel like you're lowering your standards because you're dating somebody that's been in jail or they've been in prison? Uh, Are you willing to get a man a chance now that he's gotten out? The sad part okay. about the whole situation is this. How can you even judge anybody? Because everybody has a past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody ain't nobody perfect. There's only one person that's perfect, and he's up there. Correct. You know, so let's let's keep it real and stuff. You, you know, like I said, watching that movie is funny. You know, like I said having a list. Mm-hmm. Why would you have a list of the things that you want when anytime you've made any type of list, whether it was a list for Christmas, I want these gifts for Christmas. I made a list. I'm going to the grocery store. I made a list. Do you ever get everything that's on the grocery list? No, you always add to it or mm-hmm, you take away. Mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. That's, that's life. That's, that's good. a good way to put it. That's life. That's You're going to run good. into any person that you run into. There's going to be a past, whether it's good or bad. We going to feel how we feel about what we've done in the past. Mm-hmm. I've done things wrong in my life and stuff that I know I made mistakes on. But I grew from those things. Mm-hmm. But I don't want somebody coming to me and sitting there saying, "Well, you did this, 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 and this, so you're you must be this type of person." Mm-hmm. Well, if you don't know how, who, how, if you haven't spoken to me, spent no time with me, no quality time, no good time, mm-hmm. you can say whatever you want. Because mm-hmm. personally, I'm this type of cat and That's stuff good. and everything else. I just brush that off. I, I don't right. care what other people say. Mm-hmm. It, a lot of times, I tell people to their face and stuff. They can say whatever they want to yeah. say about me, and I'll just look at them. I'm like, because I don't care. I don't care. I am who I am. Amen. And either you like me for who I am right now, because this is what you're going to be with in the future. Right. You're not going to be that dude with that person that's in the past. That's yeah. good. Because my thing is this. If, if I did something wrong, I don't like him, I'm not going to bring that person out. True. It's that simple. Yep. That, that right there was such a great point, Kenny. How you like with Hot Tops with Lady Charmaine? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Lady Charmaine. Cotton. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am good. What's your comment? Um, I wanted to say that I, I absolutely think that 
you should allow someone that that chance, that opportunity. Mm-hmm. People have the tendency, like the gentleman said earlier, you people are constantly want to bring up other people's past, but everybody has something that they yeah. don't want to put out in the public. Mm-hmm. Right. But at the end of the day, if he has. If he has, if he has become a different person and he's doing better and he's successful in his life, why is his past even an issue unless that's what he's currently doing? Mm. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, it. that's, that's it. Right. good. That's very good. That's Thank it. you for your comment, Cotton. I so appreciate I, it. Oh, personally, I would, I would give him, I would give him a second chance. That's just how I feel. Awesome. Thank you, Cotton. Well, and that, and that's um, nice that she said that. I mean, like I said. If, if somebody comes into your life and they like what they see at that point in time and everything mm-hmm. else, why don't you lift me up? Mm-hmm. Why don't you have my back? Why don't oh you, why God. don't you, why don't you move with me? Mm-hmm. How about that? We, we right here. Mm-hmm. I used to be down here, mm-hmm. but I changed and I'm right here. Mm-hmm. Get me up here. Mm-hmm. Help me get up there and stuff. If you like what you see and you really want to be with me, don't sit there and look and say, Oh my God, you got a parking ticket last month. So I can't mm-hmm. ride with you in the car because mm-hmm. you're not a good driver. Good. Come on. Man. Well, I'm, I'm a Come little on. bit, I'm just a little bit torn on this because I have a daughter and I, I've managed for almost 44 years to stay out of prison and jail. So my thing is this. Yes. Yeah, you make mistakes and I'm torn on it. But at the end of the day, because I don't ever want my daughter coming home talking about, oh, he didn't went through a few problems, daddy, but I love him and this and that. And you telling me he's in jail immediately. I don't care about no other history. All I'm seeing is what you're telling me about his him making bad choices. Uh, and, and then this is the dude you claim on being with, and then y'all credit everything <laughs> is gonna be on the line because you're gonna be carrying everything he's because of this <laughs> mistake he made. But, so but in you, my eyes, it's like I, with my daughter. I, I'm I'm not cool with it because if I didn't have a daughter, I'd be like, oh, you know, maybe okay. But it, it's it's a little different now with me, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and if I was a felon, if I've been in jail, it'll be different because, of course, I'll be wanting wanting that. Because, but since I a lot of my family, but you know, not me. And so I don't I don't. And I have my daughter. That's the main thing for me. So I don't mm-hmm. want her to come and tell me that. I want her to be with a, a successful man, even if he ain't how, successful how you, financially. You know that that I want him to be, be successful with the choices he didn't made in life. Right. I don't care if he the brokest dude. But how, how do you successful. know that he's not going to be successful? It, well, I'm he, not saying that, but when you come to me and you come in to ask my daughter, come to my, and you saying that that's an added bonus, him being in jail or being in prison, I'm not going to look through that. I'm the, not going to give the, him no benefit of the doubt, none of that. I get that, but one of the statements that you said is that mm. you, you don't want to hear anything else. You don't know the circumstances. Now, I'm, I have five sons and I have two daughters. Right. You know what I'm saying? I put myself in both situations, and at the same time, I look at myself and I know that I'm not perfect. So, you know... You know what? It's about giving you know giving that person that chance. Yes, you may be upset about that, but you don't know what that you don't know what that person can bring to your daughter's life. You don't know what kind of situation will manifest fr- manifest from that. You don't know. You know what I mean? I don't but, know, but, but I do know time, what the, his will, title is. But too. at the same, but at the same time, like I said, I have five sons, mm. so I don't have to. You know, I I, I don't got it's no problem no getting different. my hands dirty because right. because her. Man, my, my, my daughter's brothers is, is no joke. But, you know, like I said, you, you it's it that comes back to a person saying, I'm not judgmental, but then you say something like that, but that is No, it's my opinion because that's my seed. And yeah, that's gonna exactly. it's gonna be her life exactly. that that that, that exactly. I'm gonna have to it clean is. up if he do go back exactly. to jail and these kids who had to decide you, to have a choice and have a baby with this fool you, who decided to make a bad he, he choice. A fool now. And now absolutely he and, a you fool. Are, and you are and you and you're and you're and, and, and that's what a call me ignorant, call me what you want to do, and I'm not being judgmental. That's my baby. That's what you're saying. That's my baby. So at the end of the day, I don't care about nothing else but you've been in and, jail. And I, and I hear what you. That's and I hear it. what you saying. I don't care about no other time, choices. You no can't, breaking you nothing can't say that because That's I'm it. like that with I'm, I'm, I'm like care. that with my princesses. Period. Yeah. First of all, I'm and like I'm that, like that with my. I'm like if that my, that my son, son was too. around and I was talking to him my at 24, I'm like, like if she been in jail, you better not bring her home. Period. Male or female. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think it's judgmental. It's being a protective father when it comes to your seed and your daughter. And I protect. I protect mine to the fullest, and I have full custody of mine, and always have. So I. And so that's just. And that's just it and i'm doing it from a from a from a single standpoint but at the same and time and i admire and respect like, i'm that. not gonna yes. i'm not gonna I, I i i know people i know people that are felons that are doing great me too I know people absolutely that are, but they're not with my daughter are, i know i know i know, I know excellent ones i know problems. billionaire ones so you're absolutely right but i don't see them with my daughter 
And I, I don't I didn't know their background, nor their history, nor nor was willing to give it a chance. And you could call me wrong, call me whatever you want to, but not I'm with not mine. Calling you wrong. Period. I'm just saying it, that's it. And it, I'm not judging that on a on a on a standard basis. I'm just talking about with my seed. Yeah. And with that's anything fine. else, I'm not calling them unsuccessful. I know that they could be the beat a beast of a beast. But with mine, I don't care. I don't want them to be in jail. You don't come to me and tell me that they've been in prison or jail or nothing, because I'm not going for it. And that's how and that's how and that's and if you do and if you decide to do that, then go ahead and 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 work that thing out, that but don't person. come asking me for but nothing. You can't, but you can't no, I'm giving my not. opinion on it, and I'm I'm covering my daughter. That's what I'm doing. Exactly. And exactly. I'm giving my. I'm not. I'm not judging nobody because only one person being. can regardless, judge. Regardless, regardless. Only one person can judge, and that's God. Elevate if, if, your if, voice. If I, don't, elevate if, your voice. Yes. Don't matter. It's no, just I, but it doesn't matter. No, it's not. Give me your opinion. Judging somebody is completely different. That's the same thing. Everybody. Everybody is different with their kids. Judging somebody is completely different. Everybody is different with their. Everybody is different with their kids. Yeah, but you're protecting my daughter. Will never be with a your jailbird or if that's her choice. Your but you're you can't have both. Baby and other people, wow. you can't have both. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just telling you from my standpoint. I know Shit. how I protect I, my I mean, kids. Shoot. Period. Shoot. From every. My wife. Uh, uh, um, let me put it out there. But my wife. Uh, 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 um, father was in prison, and I went to go and got his. his asked for his daughter hand in marriage. Uh, uh, at the jailhouse. So at the end of the day, I've been through the situation. But at the end of the day, I didn't. That's, he, that's a different him situation. Him being in jail, I still respected him enough to say, you know what? I don't care what this man been through. That's this is how I work because that's how I'm, I'm, I'm that's raised. And I'm gonna go situation. and I'm gonna do that. And I waited for him to when I proposed to her till he got out. You know what I'm saying? Because he was in there for some it's crazy still, stuff. It's still a different but at situation. the end of the day, all I'm saying is I'm not judging him. I never. If I was able to do that, that's I would never same, judge him. That's not I'm the covering same my daughter, man. So it'll never be. She'll never be. And you can't. And you not gonna. That's not the same situation. We know you love your like, baby boy. Hands that's down, and you bet not. After not all I didn't work hard daughter, for, y'all. And, and after everything there's, I didn't steal to do, there's nobody I wish on this earth. Bring us somebody yeah. that there's been nobody in jail on this earth that can tell oh, you I don't okay. love my kids. I, 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 okay, y'all. Okay, okay, there's there's nobody on this earth that can tell you that. But at the same time, what you're telling me about your proposal is two different situations. That's that's it. Okay, y'all. Okay, we 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 understand. Derek daughter would never date a felon. Okay, we we understand. Well, like I said, uh, I, I, I think, go ahead. I think not only with me, but about the rest of her family. All too. right, all right, all right. And, 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 and her kids, grandkids, her kids, her kids, and stuff. And we get it. We, we, I totally but, get it, Derek. We get it. But at the at the at the go ahead, Kenny. At the center of it all, as us men sitting here, we need to be the example for our daughters, the kind of guys that we would like for them to be. We not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Far stuff. from it. You know what I'm saying, but. We, we need to be the example for our daughters and stuff, and the type of man that we'd like for them to bring home or to be with, you know. And like I said. That's why I tried to stay out of jail we, for we, we all, we all cover years. our Ooh, kids. Oh, Kenny, I got a good question for you. Yes, ma'am. What if you are a perfect, a perfect example to your daughters of what she should bring home and she bring home something totally different? She bring home something real raggedy. How would that make you feel? Something totally opposite of who you are. Well, That's I mean, fine. well, like I said, my thing is this. Uh, talk, you you're talking, okay with you know, that? Don't bring me home. Bring somebody that, you know, so yeah. bring your own type yeah. of I'm talking about, home. I'm talking about raggedy. I'm talking about oh, like beneath raggedy, you. Raggedy. Oh, raggedy. Yeah. Be beneath. I want to do it. I want to do it. Financially. Not, not even to the standard of what you I'm not even worried about, I'm not worried about the financial part of it, but I'm the raggedy part. Yeah, I have a problem. If you're going to the, if you're, if you're, if, if, if. Your definition of raggedy is what I'm thinking of. Then, nah, we good. And once again, a dictionary. But anyway, I, nah, it's mm -mm, no, I'm good. I, I, nah, I, I tell you I, what, I, I would definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would first of all, like I said, if she brought him home and everything else, like I said, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do the nice politically correct thing and be nice to the man and stuff mm -hmm. and everything else and stuff. And then I'll probably tell my daughter to leave the room. I'll probably tell my brother to come in the room and stuff, you know, my club brothers, and we probably going to do the bad boy thing and stuff. You know, you look 30. Be, you need to go. Uh, you look 30? <laughs> <laughs> my baby's 18, but about to be 18 you at the end of the month. Like but I'm like this. Hold on. You, 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 look, stretch, you look 30. <laughs> you got to go. What's your name? Right. Movie, I, don't, I don't even remember what the movie was. Uh, I'm, I'm, Den of Thieves. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
whatever the situation was in, mm. in jail. Mm. Mm. I feel like at the end of the day, she going to do what she want to do anyway, mm -hmm. right. despite the fact of the approval of the fathers. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, you still got to be supportive in that situation with her because right. at the end of the day, that's your baby. Yeah. Now, I respect the fact of you don't want your daughter dating no man that the been in jail just down the third. But at the end of the day, if, if, she, if he's putting the sparkle into her, there ain't can't nobody really say nothing about that. But right. that's if he's putting a sparkle in her. What if he's not? And you see her light dimmed and she is no longer the girl that you once knew. Then you have to be that protective father. Period. Right. You got to step in. You got to sit there. I, yeah. I, want, I want her happy. Right. That's mm -hmm. it. That's right. my bottom line. I mm -hmm. want her happy. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And, yeah. And, and if she's not being happy and they're doing something that's not making her happy, then... You know what I mean? Because I'm always going to be that father. But then it's going to be that, hey, you know you know what? As as Man, I've been on my own since I was 14. So you have to have, you have to be that type of parent that, you know, hey, look, I'm, I'm never going to let you be down. I'm, I'm going to come pick you up regardless. Even, whatever bad decision you make, I, I, I got your back. And right. we're going to have that discussion. We're going to have that discussion. But I, I, got, I got your back. That's how you have to be with your right. kids, man. Well, yeah. what you like, like, you got, like I said, they have daughter, to know. They have they to know, know that, you, that you're right. there regardless. Right. Yeah. And, and, then, and pulling them aside away from that dude and saying, what's right. going on? Right. Why him? Right. <laughs> what, what, what you right. see in him? Yeah. What, what what's going him? on? Is there, is there something right. that you need? Something that you 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 know you want a boyfriend? What, what kind of you know relationship? I want to yeah. I want to know why. Right. And, and I hope know? that I'm. And, and my thing is Be this: there. what I hope for my daughters and them that my daughters look at me is that I'm their first love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they're gonna respect what I got to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause like I said, I'm I'm gonna protect my daughter Fact. no matter yeah, what. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't no, nobody gonna come in and crush my daughter's heart. Is it right. gonna be broken at some point in time? Yes it is. Yeah. Cause I know and as you, a man, when I was younger, it. I done broke some girls' hearts <laughs> mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. things that mm -hmm. we did. And and I done had some fathers talk to me like, okay, you know, you didn't do X, Y, and Z or you didn't do the right thing. Okay, that's part of life and stuff. But again, at the end of the day and stuff, like I said, you you have to be a good example of what you hope that they see and they're looking for in a man. But you're not gonna be able to pick what your your, your child yes. loves. Yep. They're gonna love who they love. Yep. And yep. and uh, the affairs of the heart yep. is something that's and, so and that's hard right. to, right. to yep. understand, especially when they're young, to even get them to understand what love really is. Mm -hmm. You know what and, I'm saying? And, because and we're trying to figure right. it out and every single day as grown men. And, and to say something to Derek, I know we we both got into that, you know, heated discussion. But you know what? That's just being passionate about your kids. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just say something from an example right here. You know what I mean? Well, I understand exactly what you're saying about the daughter situation, but do you I'm a, I'm gonna tell you this. You would have a different different outcome with being able to talk to your daughter, you know what I mean, and be like, you know, babe, I I understand this is who you want to deal with and the whole nine yards. I don't approve of it because I, I feel that you're I feel that, you know, you, you deserve better. You know what I mean? But be there with her. That that's gonna mm -hmm. that's gonna that's gonna build a whole different kind of trust in your daughter. Because like they said, mm -hmm. if you're raising your kids mm -hmm. right, if you're raising your kids right, your kids are gonna know who to choose. Your kids are gonna know, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, what not to look for, what to look for and everything, because they got that stuff from you. Right. You know what I mean? They got that from you. You know exactly. what I mean? So I'm just I'm plus, just plus saying your from daughters a, always mm -hmm. want to make their dads. Exactly. Happy. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? Exactly. They always want to be they always want to be that exactly. princess in, You don't in want her daughter. to come in the you don't want her to come in the door and hide the fact that this dude has been in jail. True. Right. You don't you don't want her to do that because right. you want your kids to be open and honest with you about everything. You about I anything. tell, right, I tell open my, as possible. Yes, right. I tell right. my kids all the time. I don't care what it is. Don't lie to me about shit. Ish, 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 ish. Shine over. Right. 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 Don't, 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 don't look. We gonna get we gonna get fined by the FCC. No, nah, but you don't want your kids to lie to you about nothing. You want them to be open with you about everything, mm -hmm. every single thing. And I would rather my daughter be open with me and I have her back and catch her if she fall versus her trying to go out there and do stuff on her right. own with mm -hmm. that type of person. And then I find out about it later. And then. I am going to end up in jail because of the simple fact of what? Mm. And then it, and but then let it me ask you a question, yeah. Kwame. Yeah. Let yes, me ask you a question. Yes, ma'am. What if you gave her that floor to be open and honest mm -hmm. and she still chooses not to? 
And she chose, still chooses not to what? Be open and honest. I'm going to find. I'm going to find out. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> right. there's nothing. There's the. Uh, you know what? Ooh, I, that, I, I that, that, that's a good question. I, I, that's I, a good I, question I, right I, there. My, there's mm-hmm. there's nothing that my kids can do that I'm not going to find out about. Mm-hmm. Regardless, mm-hmm. In, in in one way or another. Right. And 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 to this day, you know, knock on whatever. To this day, my old my oldest is 23. My youngest is eight. You know what I mean? I've I've man. Man, my kids come to me sometimes. How do you find? Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. That's just parents. Mm-hmm. You, your parents used to tell you that back mm-hmm. in the day. They, yeah. they find mm-hmm. out stuff and you'd be like, how did you know about mm-hmm. it? Look, mm-hmm. don't oh, play we, with oh, me. Oh, we're going to find oh, out. We're going to find oh, out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Caller, I want to thank you so much for calling in. We're going to find out. Sir, what's mm-hmm. your name? We're going to learn today. Caller, what's your name? What's your name? Hey, I'm uh, I'm Anthony Car- I'm Anthony Carter. I'm calling out of Sacramento. Oh, thank you, Anthony, for calling in. We appreciate your call. Oh yeah, no problem. Appreciate you, Bye-bye. man. See, this is a situation with me with, with with my daughter start dating. She didn't always do it right, and she still struggles, quite honestly. Just just being real. I, I my <laughs> thing, I wanted her to always let me know who she was dating so that I can meet the dude. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. I, I want to look somebody in the face, face who's dating my daughter and let let them know, let them know that, I'm that I'm right here with her. Right. And so Thank so you. anything you do to her, you do to me. Right. And so they that they're not <laughs> Well, you know what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. but so, yes, but but you mess yes, her over, you yes, messing me over, yes, and, no, and, and yes. she and she got somebody there. She ain't she ain't out out on her own here. She's just you know straggling the streets and yeah, just you gonna go ahead and do whatever to right. her. No, I'm, I want to know that she has a father. That you, she got, oh, she has a father that loves her and that's looking out for her. Right, now, exactly. even with that, even with that, sometimes she makes mistakes and she may want to want to date somebody that I disapprove of. And I have to, you know, let her know how I feel. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I'm not yeah. gonna be trying to be pretend like that's no okay. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't approve of this. I think you can do better. But I'm gonna still support her and right. be there when you know she falls. And, and if the situation don't work out, that's when I step in. But you know, kids are gonna make mistakes. They right. do. They they they, do they, do. they 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 got that young love. They gonna make those decisions that are just immediate, not looking long term. Mm-hmm. Like like Dennis, you know, not looking for you know his employment opportunities or looking yeah. for things down the line right. or what the, what Cause, what cause issues go he gonna have or whatever. So Derek, that's, our car, let's roll. that's our job. That's our job. Derek, let's roll. I'll yeah, never yeah. leave her. I, w- yeah. I would be yeah, upset yeah, yeah, with yeah, her, but yeah. I'll right. always be there for her. But I I don't know. I'm just. And, yeah. and I feel no, I feel good. I feel your passion you good, on everything man. that you're saying about your babies because I feel the same I feel the same exact. It's way. gonna take Obama to date your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> the second, and, I, and, and y'all making me see a lot because she is I think because she is a little bit she never had a boyfriend and I think you know I, I did maybe too much but I never say you can't now like mm-hmm. you can still be but just let me let me you know I'm a too too overbearing sometimes but. I get it. I understand. Because I really you, you yeah. because yeah. you want you, you love your daughter. You, you love her and that's you want the best. The so you can't you can't never be upset yeah. about that. No. You know, yeah. and it's and it's not it, we're, we're not saying let her let her go and see what she comes back with. No, you know what I mean? Some man right. you, now, kids, it, it, you got to hold I mean, their hand like, regardless. Like said, mm-hmm. it's like, even, even when, when they you, get older. Mm-hmm. Like like yep. you said when you let your children go off to to college and stuff and everything else. You know, you you there, they know that you there. And, and you watching over them and stuff and everything else, but you, like I said, you gotta let them make mistakes because that's gonna build the character of who they gonna be as an adult. Yeah. Long as they not they they I think all that came from mistakes. actually. Well, <laughs> you know, but if they're making the same mistakes, I mean, and, and, like and said, they ain't that's learning. The if they're yeah. not learning, yeah. then like true. I said, that's then when you, you about sit to become down. A nun. But that's when you sit down on that one on one with them and you <laughs> say, "Look, look at look at the pattern that you've been doing because I'm there and, and Dad is watching." I'm some, right. some kids are just slow learners, learners too. Yeah. They just <laughs> slow. They just don't learners. They don't get it right away. They gonna look back. They keep walking that wall, and then at some point in time, you like. You are aware there's a wall right there. You know? They're going they to look back. The oh, wall. Well, well. I mean, just That's think true. about it. When, when were you old enough of, of age where you can look back on your dealings with women and say, man, I messed that up. Oh, I, was, yeah. I was a doll. Oh, but you know right. what I'm saying? Uh, it took me. I was well into my 20s. Many, many <laughs> I, was well, I was well into my <laughs> I mean, 20s before I realized how much of a jerk I was right. to, 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 to the women that I was dealing with. Because especially when I started having kids, I, loved, I was like, nobody treated my kid like I was treating yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because of you're right. that, that's your kid. Like you said, it, it, it's, it's I was a jerk. Like, like you said, it's I like, was a jerk. I didn't know what I was doing. Aha yeah, this, yeah. This, I was this, in my twenties. This is the butter the bread section. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is right here. Charmaine, butter the bread section. 
like, baby. Talk about these brothers on a roll. He got it. He got it. roll. I got it. I was bad. I was bad. I was I'm good now. I was evil until I met y'all, man. I'm trying to tell you. I was the worst person ever. But he told me about it. He was like, what? I was like, what? That's that butter the bread section. 23 years ago. I was a mess. Yeah. Like, hey, you see how he went back to 13? What did he say, 12? 12. 12. 12. 12. Yeah. From, from 12 but on, he, he ain't made no me. mistakes. Right. <laughs> he ain't made no mistakes. No. no, I was in my 20s. Yeah, yeah. I was no well mistakes. in my 20s. Right. Right. Still messing oh, up. God. Well, like you said, oh, we, 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 as we live life and stuff, we try to figure things yeah. out. Mm -hmm. We, we want to make the right steps. We want our children to make the right steps. But like you said, instill God in them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you instill God in your children and stuff, then that's that's good. But you got to mm -hmm. have it yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, ki kids are going to look at you and see what kind of dad you are, what you do, you know, how you act, you know. And that's what they're going to look for. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're going to look for, but again, they like that bad boy image because right. what they see on TV, all that stuff is emulated. And yeah. Yeah. Girls are more... Shows and everything else. That's, I mean, you, you think about it. They call it reality TV, but it's not reality. Yeah. Right. You know, and I tell my Scripted. kids, I'm like, that that woman getting all these gifts and, and, and the hair and all the other stuff they do to their bodies yeah. and stuff. I said, that's not reality. Mm -hmm. no. They don't nah. look like that, and they don't look like that every day. I've been to Atlanta. Right. They don't look like that. I done ran into like them. That every day. I done ran into some of them where you, you yeah. out in a function and... Wait a minute, that's so-and-so. You don't right. even recognize mm -hmm. I like to ask this question of Kwame, though, since he has boys. I don't know, are, are men more protective of the, the girls than the boys? Because boys seem like, and girls seem like they make mistakes. They can get pregnant. They, 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 they can get twins. They can, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they bring something home. Are, girl, are, are men more protective? Because I, I find myself with my daughters, I, I just, I don't, I, you know, I'm, I'm protective and, and, to a point where it's almost, I don't want to cripple them without them experiencing life and making decisions on their own. I don't want them to make those crucial decisions yeah. where they, you know, you mess around. Now you, now you, you know, you pregnant, you, you got, you got responsibilities. It's just. All, that, all of that stuff. It's, um, truthfully, um, you know what? It's. It, it's hard because I don't know if you, if you follow me on Facebook, if you, you know, see me in public, every like the same the stuff you see on Facebook is the same where I am personally, you know, and I still call my sons my babies. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I I'm 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 a father across the board. You know, I, I do have that special place in my heart for my daughters and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I know my daughters are going to make mistakes. But to tell you the truth, I think I'm a little bit more on my sons than my daughters because of the simple fact of I'm raising black men. Right. This and society. All, and, mm. and, with society, and the way that society is right now and the fact that I'm raising black men, right. you right. know what I'm saying? I have to deal with a whole yeah, they got bunch a of dynamic. stuff yeah. and, and literally have to teach them so many different things because there's so Gotta many move. traps out there. Yeah. And right. I'm not saying there's not traps out there for women, but at the same time for men, but they looking for the black men, they looking for the young black so men. Many, there's yeah. so many they, traps out there. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They, you know they, 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 they looking at, they look at that. Yeah. That's what they did. It's almost like they're trying to set up our young black men yeah. to make mistakes so that there are no leaders in the future, mm -hmm. yes, that's how I look at society the family. right now. They're, the they're, 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 they're trying to destroy. Yeah, because if you're gonna destroy, what a man you're is, destroy what a black the man, man is. Yeah. I mean, you got to like destroy said, the black I, man. I, I tell you, when I like I said, I watch TV. I, you know, y'all know, y'all know what fella. That's a whole nother show. Yeah, that's a whole yeah. topic yeah, I watch, within yeah. itself. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we're gonna be watch, going a whole nother hour. You watch how they describe us on TV. The the roles that a lot of. I mean, if you look at our men, there's only certain roles that they show on TV. They don't show that strong black man. You know, brother Kenny, we gonna hold that thought because okay. that that's literally a whole nother show mm -hmm. okay. because mm -hmm. that, that can morph into so many different things yep. right right and yep. so we just got to do another all-male panel we're gonna talk about that again okay and then of okay. course the ladies want to join the all-male panel we just got 15 million shows we, got to do, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we just got 15 million shows <laughs> everybody want to be on the show <laughs> but i want to thank you guys so much for coming on the show you guys gave such excellent comments and we had a good heated hot conversation which <laughs> all I but it was all passion, yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because Kwame speaking from a, a, a certain point, I was hoping you was gonna tell your story. I wasn't gonna. I, you know what? I I, was, see, Kwame didn't do. I 
was going. Well, I, I was going to get do. into that. No, I, <laughs> we ain't got time because I'll be we I'll be putting time. some people on. I'll be putting some people on blast because I ain't even going to lie to you. But 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 you it was so you had a personal experience. You had to say it's no names, testimony. but right. he had, but it was a testimony yeah. that was but, familiar yeah. with the movie of how we ended up having that conversation, yeah, and that's what I wanted him to I share. Know. See. No. Oh, he gonna share this story, y'all. Man. We're bringing him back. He yeah, he back. Yeah, coming back. I knew that's what. I, I swear on everything. I knew this. I knew that's what you were talking about. And you knew, I was, you gonna, I was literally yeah, gonna you get it to mm-hmm, her, and know. I just was like, man. he was playing up. <laughs> he, was he was playing games, y'all. She ain't gonna let you go that's on that one. Right? Yeah. 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 You got to talk about that yeah. one. Hey, wait a minute. It's and that's why he's here. <laughs> see, see, I'm gonna get, I want to thank you guys so much for definitely coming on the show. I appreciate y'all. And I just want to remind the audience to make sure that you join our Facebook group. It's called Hot Topics Real Talk. Real Talk, no chaser, right there on Facebook. You can also follow me on social media at I am Lady Charmaine and also on YouTube, Lady Charmaine TV. Facebook, Lady Charmaine Live. You can always Always go to LadyCharmaineLive.com if you want to go back and watch previous shows. Just make sure you go on there. And I just want the fellas to let you guys know where you could find them on social media. Plus, also, Kwame also has a company called Cocky Clothing. He's going to let you know about that. Derek is going to be coming out with D's Effects. Yes. You know, you get, right. to get your beard groomed, get your beard scraped for real. And that so hair, then, too. Yeah. And, and that body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we got That's my no boy, Kenny. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's the socialite of Sacramento. Yeah, right House Entertainment. You know. In fact, there if you're you not doing it. anything next Saturday on the uh, 24th after you eat all that turkey, come shake a leg, shake your rump. Uh, we're going to be over there at uh, the uh, Lionsgate Hotel. Mature, grown, and sexy. Brought to you by Rock House Entertainment. All right. There you go. There all you right, go. Kwame. Cocky clothing. Yeah, cocky clothing. That's, you know, K O C I. So just, Where's, what's the know. website? It's uh, cockyclothing.com, so right. you can go on there and check Boom. all that good stuff out. You know, <laughs> okay. got the new catalogs that are going to be out this weekend. They're already out now, but they're going to be out this weekend. Uh, new stuff on the site. We got some great sales that are going to be going on. You know, come get customized by Cocky. That's what you got to do. Right. All right, and then Derek got D's effects. Yeah, I got D's effects coming. The um, the launch party will be in January. All right. And uh, nice, yeah, nice. for the body, skin, hair, everything. All got right. something for everybody. I'm going to grow me some finger right waves now. so I can. <laughs> <laughs> These, this and they work, and they work, work, where can they find you? Well, you find me two weeks uh, from Thursday right That's back right. here. That's That's right. Right. I won't me be too. here next week. Right. That's Thursday, right. Happy Turkey Day. Right. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Absolutely. So we just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like and share this video, especially if you believe it's going to be able to help somebody. And we look forward to seeing you guys in two weeks with more of Hot Topics with Lady Charmaine. Thank you guys for watching. All right. All right.